Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary's Stadium. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Southampton, and they face Brentford. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Alex McCarthy is the goalkeeper. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have licence to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And the game begins. Redmond the ball with James Ward-Prowse Armstrong that was perfectly timed and it is going to be a corner Can he deliver it with accuracy? Struggling to get it away. Defending by example. Teammate in support. Henry. No space for them here. Crossing opportunity. Rob them. Jensen. Mbermo. Janelt. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. And there's the feed into the box. And it still could be dangerous. An alert piece of defending. Shay Adams. Elianusi. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. Excellent passing. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Mbermo. So a goal kick is what's coming up here.
Romeo. Armstrong. And Nathan Redmond with it. Options in the middle. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And a touch off the defender last of all. So a corner. Delivering it, foiling them effectively. Romeo could take the lead. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Vitali Janet, good visualization and execution. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, it has come to nothing. Oh, showing excellent vision. And there it is! The opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Difficult to stop him. Elianusi. It's opening up for them. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. On the ball, Mohamed Elianusi. Really good interception. Electing to cross into the centre. Attending to his defensive chores. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? And he's fired over the corner. And he clears the danger. Fruitful looking attack. El Yanusi. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Mbermo. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Jensen. Janert. Ivan Toni. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. The first half here comes to an end. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart?
The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Tony. Janelt. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Armstrong. And does well to keep it in play. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Pinnock. Here's Nurgard. Christian Nurgard. Can they create something from here? Making use of his physical strength to hack. A glorious chance! And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Well, a second goal for them here. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, we're into the final half hour. Giving the ball away. Jay Adams. Armstrong. Redmond. Romeo. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. Well, it was almost the ideal pass, but out of play it goes. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Christian Nurgard. Ivan Tony. Mbermo. Tony. Good strength to keep the ball. Will it happen for them? That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Message for Xavier Vicente. Mohamed Salisu. Romeo. The, the, the ball with James Ward Prowse. Is failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw in. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Crossing opportunity. It's opening up for them, and just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Oh, great piece of individual skill. 
And taken away. He won the ball. Doing well to keep possession. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Romeu. It's there for him. He's foiled them on his own. This might be ideal for the counter. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure, and the main problem has been in midfield, where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been able to get enough possession. It's not been a good performance today. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Ivan Toni. Mbermo. In position here to protect the ball. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. A really effective shielding under pressure. Armstrong. How can he take them on and beat them? Or Prowse. And it's still on for him. Redmond. Could pull one back here. The important couldn't quite hang on. Oh, there it is! A lifeline in this game. And what a finale we could be in for here. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it dropped straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. is rolling again 2-1 the score what's going to happen next We're taking into account all the stoppages three minutes to be added on Mbermo Godus great challenge he got nothing but ball now can they turn one of these attacks into a goal but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending and there goes the final whistle Disappointing for Southampton, whatever way you look at it. Three points dropped. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?